The seven star for alligator terror raid event is now live in Scarlet and Violet. Let's take a look at all the details as well as the best solo build to help you beat this easily in game. This event will, like other previous seven star terror raids, run for two weekends. This one, as of recording this video, from the 1st until the 3rd of November, and then it will return the following weekend from the 8th until the 10th, and it will be paired up with those blissy terror raids the next weekend out. So it's a good chance for you to farm terror shards if you need them when it returns. I had a few people asking on the last video, if you do need to access this event, come into your menu screen, then into Poker Portal, then into Mystery Gifts, come down into Check Poker Portal News. This will just connect you with the internet, update your Paldea map so your Terror Raid event dens are updated and that 7 star Terror Raid event will appear. So the 7 star for Alligator will be level 100. It is confirmed to have its sheer force ability. The moves it has is Crunch, Liquidation, Psychic Fans, Ice Punch, Swords Dance, Earthquake and Dragon Dance. It has the Mightiest Mark, can never be shiny, Dark Terror Typing and has an Adamant Nature. Of course, it can only be caught once per save file. And the raid interactions are quite interesting here. On turn zero, it's going to go for a Swords Dance. Then on 95% of the time remaining, it is going to steal some of our Terror Orb Charge. Then it's going to reset our stats on 80% of its HP remaining. So that's a pretty big one there. 75% uh, of its HP remaining or the time remaining, the shield goes up and then 65% of the HP remaining on the Fralligator. It will reset any drops on its side of the field, then 70% is going to use an Earthquake and then guaranteed 50% of its HP remaining will use a Dragon Dance. So that's basically the synopsis of how the raid is going to interact. As usual, really good item drops, level up candies, XL candies, and a host of other things, including those selection of Herba Mystica. 3% chance to drop those each and every raid you defeat the Feraligator. Another build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be one that's very familiar to you all and one you hopefully have already built in game if you've been doing 7 star terror raids. It is going to be Clefable, and it's going to have the terror typing of Fairy. Gonna have the held item of a metronome level 100 and of course hyper trained the build will be down in the description as well if you want to take a closer look at it after the video the move set is going to be sunny day calm mind cosmic power and draining kiss the ability the big important thing here is that unaware ability it's going to ignore any of those stat boosts that the for alligator gets with swords dance dragon dance etc and the ev spread is going to be 252 evs in defense and in special attack with a bold nature so that is the synopsis of the clefable jump into the raid now and i'll show you how quickly it can be to take this for alligator down so when you come into the raid against the for alligator you're going to see like we've already mentioned that turn zero sword stance the intimidates that you have because of the unaware aren't going to be important in this raid you're not going to really include those Sword Stand's still going to be set up, boosting its attack by two stages. Now, turn one, we're just going to lock in with a Draining Kiss, because pretty much from here on out, we're just going to be chasing our Trastalization. 95% of the time remaining, it's going to steal some of our Terror Orb Charge, like I say, so we've got to use an extra turn to get that Trastalization. So, just chasing that down, we're just getting its uh, HP down to 80% as well, because we want it to reset the stats on our side of the field so we can start setting up for the rest of this match to close things out. So like I say, early on, turn two, we're just going to lock in with that Draining Kiss. Pretty much turns one to four, we're just using Draining Kiss here just to kind of get this HP down. Chase our Terrestrialization counter as well. So we'll lock in with another Draining Kiss, turn three. The turn that we can Terrestrialize, turn five is important. We lock in with the Terrestrialization and we lock in with a Sunny Day. That's just going to make sure that the liquidations are going to be hitting for far less damage these next few turns and allow us the room to get set up with these Calm Minds. So we're in that position where we can get those under our belt and start doing significant damage to break the shield. Because the next thing after our stats have been reset is going to be the fact that it is going to put the shield up and then we're going to have to be doing more damage to cut through it to cut this raid down. With the liquidation coming out, we take that pretty comfortably and we will be able to get that sunny day up and our stats and abilities are nullified. So now we can start going for that setup. But before we do, just judge your HP at this stage. If you're not in the healthiest position, just go for a draining kiss. Just make sure that you are as healthy as possible before you go for those cosmic powers and those calm minds to kind of get set up in this raid. See an ice punch as the move of choice from the Fralligator come out and there's the shield set up. So the first thing that we're going to do after this is go for a cosmic power. That's going to boost our defense and our special defense by one stage. Not so important about the special defense, but the defense that's going to be the big important one that we're going to have to kind of concentrate on a little bit for this raid. So get that defense boost. 
Then the next turn after this, we're going to lock in with a Calm Mind. We're going to see that Earthquake come out from the Fraligator here. Um, but we should be able to take that a little bit better because of the Cosmic Power that we've just been able to hit off. And the Ice Punch coming out as we get a Calm Mind. So that'll just boost our Special Attack and Special Defense by one stage. So meaning that our Draining Kiss is going to hit a little bit harder going forward as well. And the next turn, judging our health as we go. Because this is going to be it as we go through the raid. Just judging our health and then locking in Drain Kiss when we need to recover that health off. Because it's important that we don't get knocked out at this stage in the raid. Um, when the Sunny Day moves off the field, just set it up again. This is going to be a slow build. It's going to be pretty consistent, but it's going to be a slower one than we're kind of used to. We'll go for another Calm Mind here because we've got Room 2. Another Ice Punch coming out and another Combine. So that puts us to plus two. So we'll be hitting a little bit harder, but we're still pretty healthy with the Raid Timer here. Still above 50%. Rallagate is a pretty tough one with that sheer force ability. And now we can lock in with the Draining Kiss just to recover some health off. Plus two, we will go for that Liquidation now. So we're going to be hitting a little bit harder than it was before with those Ice Punches or anything like that. And then the next turn, we can go for another Sunny Day and then kind of start the cycle again of going for those Combines until we're at that plus six stage. And once we're there, we're going to be able to do really significant damage and kind of take advantage of that metronome item as well, where we were locking in with that one move. So the Sunny Day, again, after it's worn out, that's going to weaken the liquidation and kind of force the Feraligate to use alternative options of the liquidation, which is probably its most powerful attack. And we'll lock in with another Calm Mind after this. So if you're just following these steps, it's just basic principles, keeping an eye on your HP as you're going through the raid. Making sure you're setting the sunny day up when you've got room to, setting the calm minds up when you've got room to, um, and you're not putting yourself at any risk of getting knocked out any stage in the battle. So we'll go for another draining kiss this next turn, but it looks like God of War's kind of helped us out here. So if you do get in that situation, we'll be able to just go for another calm mind here. Most of the time, you're going to be going for a draining kiss there, not a calm mind, but this puts us to plus four. And if we're in a healthy enough position, I think we go for another draining kiss this next turn, just to not risk it, because you don't want to take any risks. But again, God of War helping us out massively in this raid. If you don't have it, you're just going to alternate between Draining Kiss and Calm Mind here. But if you've got the God of War like we have, it's helping us out a bunch by healing our health up. Uh, you're not going to have this every time. But like I say, if you don't have it, just alternate between Draining Kiss and then Calm Mind. I'd say the one thing that you want to probably do in this raid is make sure that you PP max your Draining Kisses because you're probably going to need all of them. Critical hit, Ice Punch coming out, not the best, but not the worst either. We're still in a good position, and that puts us to plus six on our special attacking side of things. So special defense won't go any higher. We can take a look at our stats. We're all set up, and we are ready to launch this Draining Kisses off. And these should start doing a, a big significant amount of damage compared to what we had seen before. The Sunny Day is still in effect. I think it ends this turn. So yeah, we're going to be able to kind of get through this now. And like I say, once we're at this stage, the metronome item comes into play because it will be expediting the damage, increasing that damage every turn that we use it consecutively now. So the liquidation's coming out. We don't probably need to worry about Sunny Day anymore in this raid because we're just going to be doing so much damage every turn that we're going to be able to recover off. We're fully set up. We don't need to worry about the Fraligator kind of doing any additional damage either. We ignore the Dragon Dance here. We ignore the Sword Dance as well. So we just need to worry about locking in with the Draining Kiss and closing this out. And we're catching up with the Raid Timer pretty quickly. Like I say, it's not the quickest, but it's a pretty consistent way to beat the Feraligator. And with the Unaware ability, kind of ignore how powerful this Feraligator can be. Another Draining Kiss. This one should be the one that breaks the shield as we take a Liquidation for our trouble. But I do feel like you need the sunny day to be able to kind of get the setup in this raid. We had a little bit of help with the God of War, so that is going to be a huge help in the raid for you, of course. But even without the God of War, you're going to be super fine to be able to utilize the Clefable in this raid. Like I say, it's just going to take a little few extra turns to just alternate between Calm Minding and then the Draining Kiss. And you can see... Raid timer on pretty, pretty slim ground here, but we'll be able to do it just about in time. And then we're going to be able to get the Feraligator in whatever Pokeball we want, get the rewards, and then farm it for the rest of the weekend if you want to go after those Herba Mysticas for this one. We're locking in with a Beast Ball like we've done with most of the other Mightiest Mog Pokemon. And that will be Feraligator down and another seven star Terror Raid defeated. There we go. Nice drops as well. Three Herba Mysticus for our trouble as well as all those other 
nice items. If you found today's solo build useful, please consider dropping a like on the video. Do share it around and make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. If you've got your own builds that you're having success with, do leave them down in the comment section below. It helps the community out. And I love looking over what you guys are having success with in your games. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the event when it is running for the For Alligator. I hope you have a lot of success taking it down and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.